This rotationally symmetrical puzzle has a nice pattern to it. You see the all the numbers kind of grouped together here. You got just a couple numbers outside in the corners, but the rest is all right in the middle. A subscriber requested that I take a look at this puzzle. And uh, I've had a bit more time lately, so I'm going to go through subscriber requests that I've been getting over the last several weeks that I haven't been able to get to because I've been too busy. So this is the first of them. Uh, this puzzle takes some time to figure out. It's not a real tough puzzle, but it does have, but it was fun to solve, and it does have some tough spots in it. We'll get started with some um, easy numbers, and I want to point out the corner patterns here, here and here. There's a corner pattern there. And if you're not familiar with the patterns and techniques that I use, you can go to sudokuprimer.com and there's a section on patterns and a section on techniques out there, <clears throat> plus a lot of other Sudoku information out there. Uh, so let's look at this these two corner patterns right here. We've got a three four one three four eight here. We've got an eight there with but there's an 8 already there. There's a 5 and 8 here. There's no 5 in the box, so it goes in one of these two places. But there's a 5 there, so we can fill that one in. Now let's look at this corner pattern right here. We've got a 5 here, so we know the 5 goes in one of these two places. And we've got a 3 and an 8, and there's no 3 or 8 in here, so we got 3 8 twins right there. Uh, there's an 8 there, so we can fill those in. And we got a 2 and a 2 there, so there's a 2. And a 3 and a 3 there, so there's a 3. Let's see. Now we've got a, th a 3, 3. 3, 3, so there's a 3 there. And then um, this is a 6. We can see that because we've got 4, 5, 9 here, which we can't solve yet. So that leaves 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 6, and 7 here, and there's a 1 and 7 there already. So we know that's a 6. All right, now we've got 1 and 7 here. 1, 7 twins there and 4, 9 twins there. We'll keep those in mind. All right, we've got a 3 here, 3 here, 3 there. So we can put a 3 here. All right, and uh, what's left in this row right here? 1. 4, 9. 1, 4, 9, and there's a 1 and a 4 there, so we can put in the 9. And we have 1, 4 twins left. All right, now we've got a 2 here. Ghost 2's here, and so the 2 in box 5 goes here or here. We've got a 2 there already, so we can fill that in. All right, now let's, uh, we have the four nine twins there, one seven twins there. We also have one seven twins here. We've got a one and a seven there and a one and a seven there. So that makes these one seven twins. All right, and uh, let's see what else is left in this row. Because now we know with these one seven twins, we know five of the nine numbers. Let's see what the other four are. One, two. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, six, eight, nine. So there's a two and an eight. So that's a six or a nine. Here's a two and an eight. So that's a six or a nine. So we have one seven twins there and six nine twins there. That leaves two and eight here. And we can solve those with that two right there.
All right, and now that we've got a two here, we know one of these is a two. We got two and two there, so makes that a two. All right, now <clears throat> I know this is an eight right here. And there's a couple of ways to see that. We, we've got an eight here, eight here, so these can't be eights. An eight here, so that can't be an eight. An eight here, so that can't be an eight. <clears throat> Another way to look at it is eight, eight. Eight goes here or here in, row, in box six. And eight, eight, and eight goes here in box five. That covers, using double row elimination, that covers these two rows for box four. And the eight has to be in, in this row. And we got an eight and eight there, so that's an eight right there. That is in the double row elimination, double column eliminations in the techniques section of Sudoku Primer. All right, now let's look at one. Um, <clears throat> we've got a five here and a five here, so we have ghost fives there. So five ghost fives, so that's a five right there. All right, and then let's look at here. We've got one of these is a five, a five here and a five there, so one of these is a five. Okay, and we can determine which, where the five goes here, and I'll show you how. We've got four nine twins there. Okay, and we have one seven twins here. Let's look at this column right here, column two. <clears throat> See what's what's missing here. One, four, five, seven, nine. One, four, five, seven, nine. Here's a one, seven. Here's a four, nine. This is <clears throat> one, four, five, seven, or nine. This one is one, four, five, or a nine. Right there. Let's look at this one right here. One, four, five, seven, nine. I'm oh, sorry, I'm in the wrong column here. One, four, five, seven, nine. So that's a four or a nine. So we have four nine twins here. That leaves one five and seven here. That's a one or a seven. And this has a one and seven in it, so we know that's a five. Okay, and then five here. Five there, so that's a five now. So that was a that one is a little bit harder to find, but we were able to find it there. All right, now let's look at box nine here. We're missing five, six, and seven. <clears throat> These are four and nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are five, six, and or yeah, five, six, and seven. There's a five and a seven there, so that's a six. Um, <clears throat> there's a five, so we know that's a five, and that's a seven. With that, with this seven, we have seven, seven, so that's a seven right there. All right, now we've got two. Two and eight missing here. We've got an eight there, so that's a two, and that's an eight. And now we've got a two here, two here, two there. So we can fill in a two here. We've got an eight, eight. With this eight here, we know that's an eight right there. All right, now let's look at uh, got a um, <clears throat> six here and a six here. Got a six here. So one of these is a six, and one of these is a six. But 
we have ghost sixes here, and the reason I know that is because we have these one seven twins here, so that can't be a six. So we have a six there, ghost sixes there, so one of these is a six. All right. So uh, let's see. Now remember, our f we have four nine twins here and one seven twins here. All right. This is a little. This is probably one of the trickiest parts of this puzzle. So pay it. Pay close attention to this one. So we've got four nine twins here and here, and one seven twins there. Now using unique rectangles, or what I call the ambiguity rule. We know these are one seven twins. We found those earlier. That's a one or a seven right there. So because of the U UR rule or unique rectangle rule, we know that if these are one sevens and these are one sevens, that can't be a one or a seven. So we know that has to be something else. Now this can't be a 1 or a 7 because we already have a 1 and 7 in that row. This can't be a 1 or a 7 because we already have a 1 or a 7 in 1 and a 7 in that row. So the 1 and this can't be a 1 or 7 because of the unique rectangles here. So we know that is a 1 or a 7. So we have 1 7 twins this way. All right? And with that 6 and ghost 6 is here, the 6 has to be here or here. But that's a 1 or a 7, so we know the 6 goes right there. All right. So that one, that was probably one of the trickiest parts of this puzzle. But well, let's, let's move on now. So we have a 666 six, six there. And that makes that a 6 right there. All right, and then we have one and um, six and nine left here. With that six, we can fill those in. And we have six, 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 six. So that's a six right there. All right, so finding that six was a bit tricky, but once we got it, we put in a lot of we were able to fill in a lot of numbers there. All right, now we've got uh, box two. What what are we missing in box two here? One, four, nine. One, four, and nine. There's a nine, so that's a nine. There's a one there, so four, one. Okay, now um, remember our one sevens here. With that one, we can fill it, those in there. Seven one, and the four nines we can fill in too with that nine, and uh, we have a seven here, seven here, seven here. So we can put in a seven in box five right there. <clears throat> All right, now we're only missing four and nine here. There's a nine there, so. All right, with that nine, let's see, we got a nine here, nine here, nine there, so that's a nine. All right, now, let's see, we got the one sevens here. Can we do something, what are these, four and nine? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Four, nine. So there's there's a nine right there. So that's a four, and that's a nine. And that, with that, we can fill in these four nines here. All right. Now we have one seven left here and one seven left there. There's a seven there, so we can do one seven, one seven, and we've got four and nine here. With that nine, we can put a four there and a nine there. All right, and now we've only got, uh, let's see, one and four left here, so we can finish those. And these are one and four also. And we've got it. 
All right, well, there you have it. Um, a fairly tricky puzzle, not real, real tough, but it got tough in one spot there. But we were able to uh, get through it pretty well. Uh, well, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next on the next video.